Every Saturday morning of the college football season, Samantha Ponder takes the stage on ESPN's College Game Day. Her career ascent from her hometown of Phoenix, Arizona to national host almost took Sam by surprise. Because as a kid, I thought if I got to work for the local station in Phoenix, covering the Suns and the Diamondbacks and the Cardinals, that would be as good as it gets. So this is all so far beyond anything I really dreamt for myself. Her secret to success came seemingly out of nowhere. I mean, I guess it's a bad answer, but I don't know. I mean, other than, than God clearly having a plan for my life that was outside of, of anything I had thought of. Sometimes life has a way of taking us on an unexpected journey. For Sam, the road to television success began far from home. But growing up, I didn't have cable, so I didn't actually get to watch ESPN until I was in college. I was 18, living in New York City, and I got a job at ESPN Zone, the restaurant, uh, working as a hostess, because I figured I might meet some ESPN people. Every time someone would come in, I would always give them my big story, which really wasn't a story at all. I'm Sam from Phoenix, and I want to do sports broadcasting. Eventually, a guy came in that ran the internship department at ABC and it happened to be the year that ABC and ESPN were merging. He ended up hiring me. I stayed on for three years. I started as an intern and then I was in the research department and they helped me make a reel when I was at ABC and then from there uh, ended up at Liberty. Sam spent two years in Lynchburg, Virginia with the Liberty Flames Sports Network, refining on-air skills that would launch her into the national marketplace. It was a safe environment for me to mess up. And I think that is such an undervalued life experience. You know, like you need to be able to mess up as you're learning, especially in a career like this, where one mess up on a national stage can end your career. And if I wasn't able to work around people who were understanding guys like Bruce Carey and working with an AD like Jeff Barber and, and having people around me that were supportive, I am so grateful for people like that, that, that saw beyond just the TV stuff. You get into that a lot at this level where, you know, it's all about the product and you forget about the people. And that was one thing at Liberty that I knew for sure. I knew the people cared about me. The lessons learned at Liberty became a lifestyle. I think the thing that really helped outside of some divine intervention was that along the way, you pay attention to people. I think so many people get so focused on that, that end job that they want that during the process when they're an intern, they're always thinking, I'm above this and you know, who cares about this security person or this camera guy or this, and they don't pay attention to the people around them. And what I've learned in this industry is people want to work with people they like. And it sounds very simplistic, but the more I work in this industry, the more I realize like, Everything comes back to you, and if you're in such a hurry to beat out everybody else and race to the top and climb the ladder, you get there and you have no friends, and nobody wanna, wants to work with you, and you don't get to enjoy the best part about this job, and that's the people. After Liberty, Sam spent time as a sideline reporter for Fox Sports Net, Fox College Sports, and the Longhorn Network, covering both basketball and football games. Then, in 2012, ESPN called. Among those she works with today are College Game Day co-hosts Chris Fowler and Desmond Howard. Sam's a relatively recent addition, but she fits in great. Her passion for the sport is obvious. Her knowledge is terrific. She's extremely talented on the camera, um, delivering information, and, and she's comfortable in a variety of different roles. The camaraderie, the chemistry is very natural. We're all really different people, but we get along and and we share the passion, I think, for the sport and the idea that there's no better place to be on a Saturday morning than around that set. And that's what I think uh, draws us together. What she brings is a passion and I think a knowledge of the game. Obviously, she's married to an NFL player, so I think that, that may help. Um, but she's a, a very good addition to our team. For Samantha, a key ingredient to her success is living a balanced lifestyle, the result of putting the important things first. My priority is always going to be my relationship with the Lord first, my family second, and my job comes a, a little bit further down. Those priorities have helped Samantha keep her perspective straight, even in the pressure of the national spotlight. 
You still need to, to see the big picture and realize that when you're in a stressful meeting and people are going crazy, like, look, this stuff isn't the end of the world. And I think if you keep that perspective, whether it's, it's your time with your family or your time at work, just remembering what's most important and keeping first things first. You know, I don't really separate my faith and my job and my family. I, I think you, you be who you are all the time. And, and if that only shows up on, on Sundays or your you know, job persona only shows up at work and your mom persona, I can't live like that. I, that's, that's juggling too much. I try and be um, as authentic as possible and sometimes it's, it's better than others. I mean, there are days when I take a look at myself, I'm like, all right, that wasn't a good look today. You know, let's, let's try this thing again tomorrow. But that's the, that's the good thing is grace every morning and uh, and a, a chance to, to start over and try and do it right.